Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You are welcome in the presence of God. Walk out your neighbor, say, neighbor, you are welcome. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. Muntum Fakuli Lesa, Ariba Shua, and Alifia Lake. As long as you cannot hear from Jesus, you don't know where you are going and what you are doing. Lesa, where are you gala? Pasansa, man, you are too far. Because Mukanoka Kualesa, Tamufumobufi. Lesa, they tell me that my loyka, okay, was at all. Shapangile Kumbi, I'm full. No, 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 no. It is your fellow human being who can do that. Anything from him is accurate. Enangalanda, I know that um, temperature sometimes is a which to mislead. David said, I was very glad. Is it because of money? Is it because of job opportunity? No. Because of what? When they said, let us go in the house of God. You are in the house of God. You are sitting like uh, someone who received a, a, you know, I don't know. We may be seated. Thank you. Let's go to the book of John. John 6. Remember the message I talked about. I've been talking about destiny. Destiny. And I thank God for all our followers who are saying that message was for me. That message was for me. I realized that what I am going through is not my destiny. Yes. What we are going through is not your destiny. Praise the Lord. John 6. I want to talk about our relationship with Jesus. I introduced this message on Wednesday. My personal relationship with Jesus is more important than your relationship with me. Because if it is not Jesus, I don't know if any of us here can come to this place and say, no, we are here to listen to this Monday come Lenga. No. We are here because of Jesus. Relationship is being, you know, kept by two people. It's like money. Money has got two sides. If the other side is not there, then the money is not completely. What do I mean? Meaning, in each and every relationship, your partner must pray our own law, and you too must pray your own law. There you keep that relationship intact. Now, I want to talk about this relationship which is not like, you know, this promise and fail relationship. The relationship I'm talking about, it is the relationship that can lead you to salvation. Not one which can lead to disappointment. You have been in relationship. At the end of the day, you face disappointment. Jesus came to this life. Under the guidance and direction of his father. These two, up to now, they are like this. Jesus maintained his position as a son. God Almighty maintained his position as a father. There the relationship remains strong. 
not even one day where Jesus claimed to be on his own or to say what I am doing is for my own name. No. Because he knew that I've been sent here on a mission and that mission is to reconcile these people to my father so that they too be part of these blessings I'm enjoying here on earth. After Jesus did what he did here on earth, he gave that assignment to you. He engaged you to say, it is you now you to carry this relationship. Go flat out. Preach the gospel. Whoever believes and be baptized shall be saved. Whoever does not shall be condemned. He did not end there. He said, this sign shall follow those who believe. In my name, they shall lay hands on the sick people. And the sick people shall recover. Take note of the word, believe. This sign shall follow those who believe. You believe in the name of Jesus. You keep all the instructions pertaining to that name, the name Jesus, as a condition so that you keep that relationship intact but today how many people are praying calling the name Jesus and Jesus never paid attention to our cry why we are failing to keep this relationship we are more of ourselves than the one who brought you to this life Jesus did not claim anything on his own because he knew that I am here through my father. My father sent me to this world and he gave me authority over darkness. I did not, you know, came to this life by myself. I'm just laying a foundation that you know what I'm talking about. He appeared here on earth like a human being. Today you cannot see Jesus physically walking. No. The assignment to keep that relationship of winning souls has been given to you. And for you to do that, you need to be in good relationship with Jesus. Carrying the Bible, yes, is good. But carrying the Bible without Jesus in your life is not good. What makes all our relationship to crumble? It's because one on the other side is not keeping or she's not keeping what she promised. Because my relationship in Gatua Ingla, we promise each other to say, me, what I want is this. I don't want to see this. I don't want, yes, me too, me too. But at the end of the day, you are failing to stick to your promise. Your partner will start complaining. But you promised me this. You promise me this. All these things that you promise me, I have never seen any of this, you know, come to pass. You are always giving me this excuse. That is us human beings. Now, I am talking about your relationship between you and Jesus. And he gave you this assignment. Let's go to this book of John 6. Verse 38, then we read John 14, verse 9. Let me start with uh, 38. Chapter 6, verse 8. 38, I mean. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last days. I'll repeat this one. Verse 39. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. 49. 40. For my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believe in him shall have eternal life. And I will raise them up 
at the last day. Listen to 41. At this, the Jews were began now to, to grumble about him because he said, I am, I am the blade that came down from heaven. They said, 42, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Listen to 43. Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. 44. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw them and I will raise them up at the last day. The, uh, the answer from Jesus, if you listen carefully, his sentence always ended with the last day. The last day. The last day. Do you value your last day here on earth? If you don't value your last day here on earth, then you will not keep that relationship. What makes Jesus to fulfill his promise to his father? He was obedient to keep all what the father instructed him to do. He did not neglect any part of, you know, the word from his father. This is why he's saying, he who sent me, I am here to do his will, not my own will. Even in the, where you are working as a worker, whether you are an accountant, a manager, there's a director there, the MD. He will sit you down. If you want the company to keep you here, these are the rules and regulations you need to follow. If you break one, these are the consequences. You will sign the document to make sure, yes, sir, I will make sure that I will observe time, reporting time, knocking of time, everything. And there you are in good relationship with that company. But the day you are going to break one, the company will be your enemy. If you are a minister, I even give this example on Wednesday. Appointed by the president, you are under oath to make sure that you obey the instructions of the president. There is no way you can make any decision minus consulting the president. Or else, consider yourself fired because you are failing to keep what can make you, you know, to be a good worker in that relationship there's no way you can employ someone or appoint someone who is your enemy i don't know if you can do that whoever is there presiding over your resources must be in good relationship with you i'm just giving you this example to draw you closer to the word of god if the minister signed any contract minus the knowledge of the president and that contract involved a lot of money, that minister is going out of the office. And you'll be sacked not because of, you know, you have insulted this one or you have that. No, because you are failing to keep what can make you to remain in relationship with the president. I am not preaching about politics or the president. I'm just giving you this example, which is very close to our understanding. Now, I am talking about your personal relationship with Jesus. What have you done to please him? What are you doing to keep him in your life? Because what can promote your life? For example, I was talking about your destiny. What can promote your destiny or make your destiny to be mature is Jesus in your life. According to the relationship that you have kept. There is no way Jesus can elevate you because you want to show people that you are there. No. He will elevate you because his power, his life will be seen in you. 
And where you'll be found, you'll be confessing that this is the works of Jesus in my life. I am here to support the widows. I am here to support the underprivileged. I am here to support my family. I am here to support the elderly because that is the mission and the assignment Jesus has given you to keep that relationship. If you can do that, whether you are calling KGV, NIV, Good News, any Bible that you're calling, you are calling record. As long as you are not doing his will, he brought you to this life. There you rebelled against him. He did not reject you. He sent his own son so that you can be reconciled back to him. The one who knows your destiny. The one who knows you and his purpose is known to him. Why he created you as a human being, not as an animal. Chicken are there. We eat chicken every day. God's cow are there. He did not create all of us in form of animals. No. Why? He knew that he would send you to this world to represent his will. So that whatever you are doing, whatever you be doing, God must be first in your life. Even in your marriage. This is why we are crying every day. In our business, we left Jesus behind. We thought because we have been to school, because we know this one and that one will make it in life. No, it doesn't work like that. Tamwai pangire palwe nunda mieva rionse. Ngaku fiala fiaba no muntu ati ala pangaba na ngamu apangaba no kuri ngana ngefi mutonton kanya. But your surprise. Look at your children. Look at your children. What you want to see, you can't see it. We are failing to. Jesus said, "I am here." To represent the will of my father. He said his will is to make sure that none of you shall be loosed. I will keep you up to the last day. This is why people of God, I always tell you this. Going to church should not be, you know, for membership. No. Value your last day here on earth. Value your last day here on earth. Who will take you on that last day? Who will be there for you on that last day? If it is not Jesus. Even a man who has no power to fight, as long as they are in a relationship with that sister, there is no way you can go there and say, Sister, can I talk to you? Please leave this man. Come here. I want to talk to you. That is fight. We have been complaining about our fellow human beings. The people that we trust so much. Today, they have turned our back against us. They promise to be good people to you. They promise to support you. Look at what is happening in politics. Someone who is praising you today. Ha, hey, what? And tomorrow is going to be your enemy. Because their promise is fake. Their promise is based on money. Not on good relationship. Their promise is what? It's fake. Because whatever you know you see along the line is either you condemn your friend or you leave your friend. But when it comes to Jesus, Jesus cannot leave you. He will advise you, collect you, not until... You know when you say, no, me, I'm not ready to keep this relationship. That's when Jesus will leave you. Are you there? Are you there? I hope you are getting the point. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen to uh, 39. And this is the will of him who sent me. That I shall, I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. 
So your last day here on earth is more important than your first day. The end of everything is better than its beginning. The life that we are living today now should not mislead you that because you are young, because you are educated, because you are rich, because you have married, because you are in relation, then everything. No. Not until you see Jesus in your life. As long as you can't see Jesus in your life, whether you are in love with that brother or in that company, you have formed a company with your partner, it's just a matter of time. The money that you are going to make will be the source of your what? Your enmity between you and your partner. As long as Jesus is not involved. You see killing all over the world. Your friend today, tomorrow will be your enemy. Why? It's because what you agreed to say, okay, the next thing you see yourself is in court. We have seen, you know, people going to court with their best friend. They don't want to look, you know, at each other. No, if you are no ah, ah, your friend. Think about your last day. Because Jesus said, forgive and forget. You know, it is written in this book that love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But Jesus said, but for me, I'm telling you, love your neighbor and pray for your enemy and those who persecute you. There you are keeping is what? Assignment. No, let me consult Jesus. Jesus did not make any decision without consulting his father for him to keep that relationship. But for you, you make decisions according to your feelings, according to the information, according to what you, you, know, you, you want to see. Consult your partner in life. And who is that partner in life? It's Jesus. The Lord that you pray in this body is to feed the body. The Lord that Jesus pray in your life is to sustain you. So that you live again. You live again. Let's go to 14. Mm -hmm. This is the conversation between Jesus and Philip. Verse 9, Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I've been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Meaning, what you see me doing now, I am doing the will of my Father. Tell me if you know what you are doing, you are doing the will of God in your life. In fact, some of you, it is Sunday that you open the Bible. After Sunday, you pack your Bible. It's better you preach someone who is rich than to consider your partner in life, Jesus Christ, who is there 24-7 for you. What your fellow human being can do to you is to give you food, money, and clothes. But they cannot give you protection or long life Jesus answered his disciple I've been with you for such a long time anyone who has seen me has seen the father the work that you see in me is my father this is where you know you need to come you know to Jesus to say father let your character let your work be seen in me even when you become successful in business, when people are appreciating, you just say, this is the work of Jesus. You give birth to children, this is the work of Jesus. Your husband or your wife loves you so much, say, this is the work of Jesus. But the problem is that when things are moving, you know, nicely in our lives, we forget that it is Jesus who is at work. We thought maybe it is our work. There, you invite your enemy, and your enemy is Satan. 
our relationship with Jesus is based on the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Not with promises. I promise you this. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. No. Think about relationship outside marriage. There are so many promises which cannot be fulfilled. I'll be taking you out. You'll be eating ice cream. I'll be doing this. I'll take you. After one, one, one child, ask him, when are we going to go and visit that place? That is the answer you receive. But this is what you promise your partner. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, our relationship with Jesus is based on the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Yes. Listen to this now, verse 10. Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. But for you, you are boasting, I can do this. It is me. Because you are young, because you are a degree holder, because you are what? You are a minister, you are a president, you are what? You are a human being. Someone created you and brought you to this life. And you are failing to keep that relationship. God may let you know, do whatever you are doing, but your last day, think about that one. Your last what? Think about that one. Going to church should not be for membership. But it is here on earth we respect ourselves. What about in heaven? Anything that we are doing here, we must consider Jesus. Are we pleasing him? Is he part of this arrangement? If the answer is no, think twice. Because on that day, once by one. One by what? People are moving all over the world. They are busy. To do what? To make what? But when it comes to salvation, no one you know is talking about that one. Not even our leaders. If you look at the situation now on the ground, we need to come back to that relationship with Jesus. Or else, we are heading for destruction. I'm telling you. We need to come back what we have seen and heard all over the world. It is an eye-opener to all of us, whether rich or poor. Whether you are in politics, you are a minister, you are what, you are in government, you are a human being. God created you in his own image. And he brought you to this life. To represent his will. Even in that influential position. God can use you there. To say yes. Jesus has done this for me. But it's high. 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 This is why you see. Now sickness and disease. Are killing us like chicken. You cannot resist. You know. Kidney problem. Heart failure. BP. Arthritis. You are surviving on medication. And you are supposed, you know, to rely and depend on Jesus. But instead, you are now relying on tablets. I am not saying using tablets is, is sin. No. It is part of life here on earth. But the sustainer of your life, the keeper of your life, is Jesus himself. As a partner, hey, come here, sissy. This is my partner. Eh? You know I'm Malikai? Nangfendi leka makan shakwa that we say on some party. Take if you won't be no kubomba. No I saw pine and a lime in up. You an inch now much for you mean. 
Na maka nsha tsha. Uyu kwa kula ntepresha. Bala miche na fereke ni fena. Na. Because we are in relationship. There is no way I can disappoint this girl I promise that I'll be there for you. I'll make sure that whoever comes to challenge our relationship, I'll stand here and say, what do you want? What do you want? Tell me. No, I want to talk to that one. Talk to me, not this one. Forget about this one. You stand here. Now, Makata, na mumu chumana ushati, nganguma feringo yu. Ni monde pona. But you are defending the promise. You want to show your partner that you are there. This is what Jesus is doing to those who are in relationship with him. Whenever a witch, a satanist, ancestral, whatever power that has been there disturbing our family, approaching your destiny, Jesus will appear and question that demon to say, what do you want? Because this is my partner. We are here to win souls. No, I want to talk. No, talk to me. As long as you cannot talk to Jesus, you can't talk to me. As long as you cannot kill Jesus, you cannot kill me. As long as you cannot destroy Jesus, you cannot destroy my business. You are in the office. Someone is, you know, yearning for your office. They want to take over your position by force. They will go and see these, you know, evil people and bring concussion. They will enter your office. Ah, good afternoon, boss, or morning, boss. These people are respecting you in your presence. <laughs> if you hear what they are saying about you, you can't even accept their respect. Ah, good afternoon, boss. Okay, boss, I want to clean the office. Okay, okay, go ahead. Ubukire no mulamba. Na wafumine kunganga. Nishi alamu le shoku. Yain ya leta ndewele wa alamu na ulichupua sana iwe. Kapona stroko muno mwine. Na kwebo kupona stroko muno mwine. You enter that office. The following day, tawakamone ke kunchito. Nishi atiwa posi na balolati. Good. But with Jesus in your life as your partner, you are in that relationship. Immediately, I'm going to a concussion of the former light in my office. Immediately, I'm going to go to the boss of Nisha. No, boss, I'm going to come to Somalia. Jesus is at work. Jesus is what? Even those who are grabbing our marriages, don't use whatever they are using there. Embrace Jesus as your partner in your marriage. Let them try your marriage. They'll meet Jesus. You know what I mean. Thank you. Sit down. Because you are in relationship with who? With Jesus. Jesus cannot disappoint you. He said, I am here to represent the will of my father. Anything that you are doing, Jesus must be part of your life. It's a pit that we trust our mind, our capacity, our age. There's nothing wrong to, you know, to be confident with your education. But the driver of your life, your partner, is Jesus. Hmm. I don't know if you are getting uh, the point of what I'm sharing with you. Listen to this now. This is verse 11. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the ev evidence of the works themselves. When I am a paper, I am a confession. This is Jesus now talking to his disciples. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. No one can perform a miracle without Jesus supporting that person. No one can rebuke evil spirit, witches and wizards without Jesus supporting your voice. You speak, Jesus will give life to your voice. You declare, Jesus will give life to your declaration. 
but you trust your voice ba, 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 this is why you see a lot of lies within Christianity because we are speaking our mind and our feelings we are not representing the will of God my partner your partner in relationship is Jesus think about the answers the Pharisees gave to you know his declaration they said we know this brother we know his father and the, the mother why must he say it's a bread that come down from heaven? This now, you know, take me back to what I was sharing with you about destiny. No one knows who you are except God Almighty. So if you cannot keep him in your life, then you don't know what you are doing and where you are going. They will sit on your destiny. They will destroy everything. They will keep on frustrating you. Make no mistake this time around. Don't trust yourself. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust your friends or your family members. Trust only Jesus. Love everyone. As you know the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua used to say, love everyone around you, but trust only who? Jesus. Are you in the relationship with Jesus? I can't hear you. It's like you are not sure. Are you sure you are in the relationship? Because if you say you are in the relationship, you need to keep his instructions. If a man and a woman they are in the relationship, each and every one of them, they are praying their law according to what they promised to each other. So are you sure you are in the relationship? I am not here today to entertain you. I want you not to wake you up so that you know that the life that we are living is not a permanent life. But the one who is permanent and everlasting is in support of those who believe in him. So that even after this life, they are going to live another life after this one. There is life after this one. You know that. The way we plan for the future here on earth, that is the way we are supposed to plan for our salvation. But to the contrary, where you are sitting down, hmm, you leave this church after Sunday service, you close your Bible. Bam, until Sunday, you remember the Bible, my Bible. But Sunday. But you eat every day. Not even one day you can send in the book. It's in Tunga Chilimuri, which is a land. Like the Sophia Pango Muntu. I'm a feeling the Amuvi. Yeah, it's a trigger. There's no need for anyone to say, no, you set the alarm to do this, to do that. No. Our relationship with Jesus is very, very important. Everyone here on earth wants to be rich. Everyone here on earth wants to build a house, buy cars, their children. Think about the source of your life. Are you protecting the source of your life? Are you in contact? If you neglect the source, then you are on your own. And how many vouchers that are there to destroy you? Uncountable. Our relationship with Jesus is more important. You can agree with me. The person who was your friend last year, today, they are no longer your friend. Are you there? Am I talking to you? Your best friend two years ago, they are no longer your best what? What happened? Something happened between the two of you. But never you neglect the relationship between you and Jesus. That is the anchor of your life. That is the center of your destiny. Jesus will be there like the example that I gave. 
throw our daughter here. Tell your neighbor, say, our relationship with Jesus is based on the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Yes. Are you a believer or you are just a member of the church? Members of the church and believers are not the same. It's better you believe now. It's better you believe now. Even those who are listening to me. It's better you believe now. Man can disappoint you. Friend can disappoint you. But Jesus, I have a friend who never fails. I have a friend who never fails. Forever, forever, sing of a friend. I have a friend. Who never sing I have a friend. Who never fail. Who never fail. I have a friend. Who never Who never fail. Who never fail. Who never fail. Sing, Amen. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Amen. If Jesus is your friend, he cannot allow you to keep unforgiveness in your heart. No. Jesus cannot allow you to continue living in sin. Jesus cannot allow you to continue causing problem, confusion in the family or friends. Jesus is a peacemaker. Immediately Jesus becomes your friend, you become peaceful. You become what? A problem solver. You understand everyone. You love everyone. Because Jesus came to reconcile, not to create confusion. But we are still living in confusion, gossiping, rejection, all kinds of trouble. But at the end of the day, we are claiming to be children of God. What kind of, you know, children of God are you? If you cannot follow a simple instruction or resemble your father through your character, you are there sitting down, you are calling unforgiveness. You are there sitting down, you are going out with a married woman or a married man. But at the end of the day, they call you a leader. Are you a leader or destroyer? Jesus does not know you as a leader. He knows you as a destroyer. Once you know you keep that relationship, you think about your last day here on earth. Because that is the purpose Jesus came is to make sure that your last day must be protected at all costs. You can enjoy life. President and leaders of this world have gone. They enjoy their time. Where are they today? Are they enjoying the same respect? Jesus knows. You are running a company, you are a director. You are being promoted, you are a manager, you are a teacher, a head teacher, whatever position. You are a police officer. Think about your last day apart from your job. You can eat anything. 
but you cannot control your life. You can destroy your, le your, your life, but you cannot repair your life. It is only your best friend Jesus who can do that. I hope and trust this message is in your heart. Hmm? The message is in your heart. If the message is in your heart, when you go out there, walk like Jesus. Behave like Jesus. Talk like Jesus. Consider him to be more important than yourself. Because he is the driver of your life. A woman who never proposed a man to say, I want to marry you, and he started arranging for a wedding program, minus the knowledge of the man. The man who just said, is it you are marrying me or me marry you? It's like you want to, you know, to, to, ten, to take over my, my, my responsibility as a man. That is the same way you are treating Jesus. This life that you are misusing is not your life. You can't even make one finger if you destroy one finger. You cannot. Some of you, your teeth are not completely. They are already out of your mouth. Can you re replace them? The answer is no. Why are you boasting? Why are we stubborn human beings? You neglect life and you want to live the empty life where Satan can butcher you like animal. Our relationship with Jesus is very, very important. Not your relationship with money. See the way people jubilate. If you receive an appointment to say, okay, Mulenga, you will be now a, a copper belt minister or PS. Ah! <laughs> Could I say that? <laughs> But in the Mwabat Mulenga, Ninkush Trabai Boyoka Quaven. Thank you. Look at the response. Bible as a gift. Kulavanava Fulua. What must the Bible Babesi day? Kufulua. Tunaria Bible. But that is life. No, but Ah, everyone say, Buana, Abesu, Abesu, Abesu. Not Bible. Bible is an insult to them. And this is life. This is what? Mm -hmm. But God bless you. <laughs>